that or Oh, they remind me of rubbish, I beg. Hello. Good afternoon. Dara, come. Dara. <laughs> anyway, you guys, uh -oh. your girl is back. So um, the previous clips you guys saw was me attending my dermatologist or dermatology appointment right so i went to the hospital because of my c-section scan so for those who are watching me for the very first time i just had a baby december last year he's currently seven months old and i had him via c-section now the thing is my c-section scar um is not i don't want to say it's not healing well so it's healed you know completely it's healed very well but the problem is because of the kind of skin i have so my scar is now beginning to it's not even beginning my scar has become a keloid so i've seen other c-section moms whose scar are barely when i mean barely 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 noticeable but because of the kind of skin i have let me give you an example this is you know one of the keloids i have on my neck apart from you know the ones let me show you another one that i have this one okay is another scar that i have a surgical scar so if you can see how this has you know healed or formed a keloid so that's basically how my c-section is now so that line is now like big black keloid i mean it's my private area so tmi i don't show you guys should i take this off <laughs> see you guys listen me very well anyway um yeah so that's what we are dealing with now I just went to see the doctor they have prescribed two creams for me one silicon gel and I think the other one she called it elocon right so I'm going to be using both of them one in the morning one at night hopefully you know the creams will be able to dissolve the scar but because one of the things she asked was or the first thing she asked was Mm? Why are you falling down at this your age? Eh? Oh, yeah. Stay where I'll be seeing you. Okay. Stay here. Okay? Stay where I'll be seeing you. <laughs> you guys, sorry. There I fell, so I had to quickly rush and sorry baby. Sorry. There I fell, so I had to quickly rush and go and grab him. Like he was sitting and just you know fell. So the first thing she asked, or the first thing the doctor asked was um if I'm planning to have any more children, which I said yes, I am. And she said it's very important that we establish that fact because that would help determine the kind of treatment um they would um give me. So they are quite some kind of invasive treatments like surgical treatments that they can use to repair the scar, but it doesn't or it won't make any sense doing all that and then before you know it i get pregnant again and end up having another c-section although it's not a guarantee i may have a vaginal birth but what if i have a c-section again when they've already see this breeze when they've already gone in to you know, do some surgical repair on the scar and then i end up having on that scar again so they just want to know am i having more children yes good so nothing invasive for now we will try with the cream after three months i'll go back and then um, they'll have a look 
Papa, sorry. After three months, I'll go back, they'll have a look at the scar. If it's not healing well, then they will go in with injection, like steroid injection around that site to, you know, help with the wound. She said the doctors in Italy did a good job. The section is good. The line is good. It's just that my skin, Papa, sorry, just that my skin forms keloid. And basically, keloid is when you have of keloid forms when you have a wound right you know when you have a wound it's open and then before you know skin or skin tissue begins to grow and then you know that place covers up now for people whose body form keloid the problem is that our skin doesn't know when to stop so it just keep overgrowing 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 and then sort of stopping at the point where the skin is level this tissue just keeps growing out and then it becomes you know all these things that I have around my body so yeah that's what is going on now my c-section scar update I just thought to share it with you guys I'm thinking of doing a video where we're going to talk about the, the shame the, the stigmatization behind women who have given birth to their c-section because it's a mess it's a huge mess how dare you tell a woman who gave birth via c-section that she chose the lazy way out like how dare you how dare you do that as in it's that that's going to be a separate video anyway i don't get triggered now <laughs> when i tell you the weather is hot as in i'm not even exaggerating it is really really hot i want to make something called for durable. i only have um orange so i'm thinking of squeezing this orange put eyes so you can just you know suck on something cold because he's just being so cranky and fuzzy Papa, your cup is so dirty. In case you have seen cartons and bags and we go to go at the back. You guys, my kitchen is a hot mess now because Hobby and I, not even Hobby and I, Hobby alone has been trying to work on the pantry. So we've removed everything in there. And um, yeah, very soon we're going to have a very nice piece. And then I would arrange all my stuff. So I don't have that thing for squeezing um, orange juice. Not the thing you kind of press the orange on, right? I don't have it. So I'm just going to do some omogato shit now. You like it? Hmm? You like it, Papa? Hmm. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Now you're sucking air. You're sucking air. Your stomach will hurt. He has finished. Mm -hmm. You want to cry? I should leave your cup for you. Here, take. Here you go. <laughs> Devout, De like he literally devout this um, apple and mango puree. I'm even thinking of giving him the one I want to use to do ice cream for him, but it's fine. And I want to give Dara a cold bath now, not like proper bath. I just want to. Um, I'm going to just put water in his bath, allow him sit there and just you know cool off because hot, quite very, 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 very hot. So yep, the gold old bath. Did you enjoy your bath? <laughs> <laughs> you did! <laughs> the sun broke in Cracks the devil can feel through Can I love you? I say you can let them blame I don't know what I could tell you to Balance the part of your brain Where everything is gonna shell you out I'll do my best now, if you want me, I won't leave, yeah I'm afraid of what's ahead Come, boo-boo You don't take pacifier But I bet if I bring a phone now, you guys use Let's try with the phone Take 
The way this my son likes food. <laughs> Aya, come. Come and take. Mm. <laughs> you too like food, this my baby. Eh? See, I put his food, I put past for you. He didn't even blink at this one. You think he saw a phone, bam, he moved. Hi! Chidera, Chidera, get that food. Don't put that in your mouth. Ah, hey guys, you guys, today is Sunday. Um, there's this burger joint I intended taking in a hobby too, but farm no car, right? The guy has just been there, like he wants to go out. Let's go out, let's go out. And I'm thinking for us to go out, right? We have to take taxi all the way to Manchester City, that's gonna cost us to and fro. Nothing less than 70 pounds, nothing less than that. So I said, you know what? Okay, since I promised to take you to a burger joint, why don't I, you know, bring the burger home? Okay, <laughs> so fam, what did I do? I just went online, ordered a bunch of um, stuff from Coop. I call it Coop, but it's Coop in, in the UK, they call it Coop, but you know, as someone who migrated from Italy, we call it Coop in Italy, but I, I mean Coop, okay? So if I anytime I say Coop, I mean Coop. <laughs> we got burger bread, chips, minced meat, tomatoes, orange juice. We've not been having orange juice and soft drinks in this house for a very long time because we've just been doing smoothie, but yeah, let's do orange juice today. Um, egg. Onion ring. I've been seeing onion ring, but I don't know what onion ring is, so I just you know added that to my cart. Let me try that. We've got sliced mature cheddar, oh, bacon, and you know perinase. I'm going to attempt to make a bomb burger for us today, guys. The Nigerian in me can never use minced meat without washing it, so I'm going to wash this. If you don't wash yours, it's fine, but me. I'm gonna wash my own, okay? I don't know what I could tell you to balance the part of your brain where everything is gonna shell you out. I'll do my best. Chef Nena, 
Chef Nina. Oh yeah, come and eat burger. You guys better put some respect on my name. This burger is hitting. Mm -mm. I didn't want to eat before, but I have to go and make mine. This is good. This is really, really good. Mr. G, one Enjoy, Biko. Enjoy yourself, baby boy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chidera, how far are you now? Hmm? You know what's concerning you? You are your remote. So long as you have remote, it's okay. <laughs>